We give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashimi Awashah Bashim Chapadash. That will honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who grew well. Much peace and mercy to the whole elect, you brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. I just want to do a, a real quick lamb back off of this video here. Uh, the beloved brother, Amawan Gabar. Uh, this video is titled Rick Ross, You Ain't Building a Bunker, You're Building a Microwave Toaster Oven Coffin. And, uh, you know, the brother's just, you know, speaking on. This man is going crazy. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, he's just speaking on uh, this, this video he made. Rick Ross talking about he's going to build this bunker and he's going to have this, he's going to have that. And the brother made a valid point, man. You know? He made a valid point. The point that he made was, right, we're in, we're in the year 2024, 20, hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And you you now just, you you now just now trying to build a bunker, man. Talking about you have a garage and he's going to have wings and he's going to have this, he's going to have that. It's going to take a while to build uh, any type of facility, man. It could take months. It could take years, right? Uh, the thought that came to my mind was how long it took Solomon to build the temple, and how long it took him to build his house, right? Seven years for the temple, and thirteen years for his house, if I believe, if, if I'm if I'm uh, remembering correctly. And so it took a while, especially for it to be a perfect. You see, there was a certain there was a certain blueprint that that Solomon followed, and it took seven years for the temple to be built, man. So how how you think you're gonna build a bunker with all these you know different assets to it? You're not gonna have you ain't got enough time, man. You're late. And another thing that came to mind was, hey Jake, Jake know Jake know these 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 missiles is coming, man. Now all of a sudden you got niggas like Rick Ross talking about doing, you know, building bunkers. That's how you know this word has reached the four corners of the earth. As it is written, have they not heard? Yeah, every ear have heard, have you know heard, man. They they hey, you've heard this 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 truth. You've heard the prophecies. You know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites. You know that the so-called white man is Esau, Edom, according to the Bible, and all the other nations and their their respective uh, names and, 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 and you know lands. And you know that America, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. Why? Because the Lord sent His prophets, His men, to speak His word and to tell the inhabitants of the earth that, hey, the Lord did not forget, man. So now, Jake, after you didn't sold out, you know you didn't you didn't uh, you didn't gave up your 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 valuables, <laughs> so to speak, right? As Cat Williams would say, his version, you know, behind a pillar like that, you gave up your valuables for for these riches and and and, and whatnot, and now you know destruction and, and death is coming to you. You trying to hide from it, man? You trying to? build a bunker yeah and you're not gonna make it man that's why the scriptures say it man um you go to revelation you're gonna have men who who oh i forgot about that you're gonna have men who are gonna uh hide in the clefts of the rock i think it's that in, uh says that in isaiah as well you're gonna want those rocks to, to fall on you, but hey, if you're building over if you're building over here, man, in America, hey, you have no chance, man. Everything over here in America, Babylon the Great, will be completely and utterly melted. You read Second Peter three and thir uh Second Peter three and twelve around that. Starting at the tenth verse. All of these things will be dissolved, man. Access 
all of these things will be dissolved all the elements you will not see trees you won't see a, a, a leftover license plate you know you will not see some uh, uh, leftover fender from a, from a vehicle you're not gonna see anything man it's gonna be dust smoke ashes and, 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 and fire you know so he's trying to he's trying to escape his judgment but guess what you're not gonna be able to escape man the Lord a hey, scripture say man's goings are the Lord how can a man then understand his own way you think you're gonna be able to build and a safe haven you think you're gonna be able to build you a safe haven to hide you from the the coming destruction that Yahweh Shai has has allotted for for this land over here, man, and you're not, because 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 you're a, you're a two third. The brother even said it, and and you gotta a hey, all you brothers and sisters, you gotta realize, man, these these celebrities, they're not some profound, you know, people, man. They're they're low level Israelites, just because they have the fame of this world and money. A little bit of fame, or you know, popularity, whatever. There are no phones connected. Connected, cancel. Let's lock you. Let me go ahead and lock this in. You know, they got a little bit of, they got a little bit of fame. They got a little bit of money. They got a little bit of uh, uh, clout, so to speak. But they're not, they're not a part of the elect, man. They have received their consolation on this side. So he has the, the time, the money. Well, he really don't have the time. But, but he has the money and, and, and the idea to build a bunker. And he, he may he may start the process. <laughs> he might lay the foundation to a bunker, man. But guess what? You're not going to have a sufficient, amount of, a sufficient amount of time to finish it. And even if you did... Even if you had hired some extravagant builders, construction men to work on this project nonstop, day in and day out, so you can try to hide from the destruction of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, the Lord can have it to where your ass can, won't even make it to that bunker, man. You know? Scriptures say that this, this is going to come like a thief in the night. It's going to come like a thief in the night. Let me actually grab that. I don't want to work, you goofy. <clears throat> oh, dang, yeah. It's two of them. I'm going to read this one as well. Um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then a sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. They shall not escape. You're not going to escape this thing, man. You see? You're not going to escape this thing. Because it's going to catch you off guard. You're not part of the elect. You can't see the prophecies. You can't see, you know, these certain things coming to pass. So when, when the MOTB hit the scene, World War Three hit the scene, you see, you, you, you're not going to be ready, man. You're not going to be ready. Let's grab this. Second uh, Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are, are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversations? Conversation and godliness. You see that? So it says that all the elements will melt with fervent heat over here, man. The 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 Lord is not playing with you people, man. He's not playing with you people. I was watching that video. You know, brothers been mentioning a lot that Jake that was burning up in that Tesla car, man. Thermal uh runaway. 
you know, the brother brought it out when uh when an electric vehicle catches on fire is because of those batteries. Those batteries they create a chemical reaction which causes thermal runaway. And it's a a fire that that is is very very hard to put out because of that chemical reaction, man. How much more nuclear fire, thermonuclear runaway. <laughs> Thermonuclear runaway, man. It's gonna be that's why the scriptures say it's gonna burn forever, man. That fire is gonna burn for a very long time. You see? So what you think you think being underneath all of the fire, you think you're not gonna feel that heat, man? You crazy as hell. Your ass gonna get burnt up right with, with everybody else. All the uh two thirds, the heathen, Esau Edom, right? And the elect is gonna get, you know, risen up out of this place, man beamed up so to speak taken up into the chariots and preserved from the fire so that's just real quick something in the spirit i was watching this video um <laughs> lord will i can finish this but um yeah just, man, i just want to add that to it man because you know these these celebrities think they got it man they think you know you, you see what happened to kyrie irving right he he, he was trying to spill some truth like he you know oh you oh you know he talking like he knew something and then what they they, they, they stuff his sock in his mouth and now he back dribbling the ball he you ain't heard a peep out of him who knows what they're gonna do to cat williams hey let's just wait and see you know hey the lord got the spirit of truth out here on the earth um he he has uh the spirit of judgment on the earth. So hey, all we all we gotta do is watch and watch and wait, man. Watch, wait, pray, and and hope that we don't piss the Lord off, man. And hope we be in, in his good graces. So with that, I'm gonna end it there. Lord willing, this was edifying. Giving all praises again to Yahweh Bashimi Awashai Bashim Shalom.